Hello, it's me, hi Oscar from Marijuana Garden. Platonic love There are various types of love. Namely, eros or erotic love, philia or affectionate love, storge or familiar love, ludus or playful love, mania or obsessive love, pragma or enduring love, philosha or self-love and agape or selfless love. The one that I am going to share my thoughts about with you today is philia the platonic love. Recently, I have been advised by many that platonic is hard. That people don't draw boundaries or keep limits when it comes to this type of friendship, and apparently at some point in time the relationship that the two people share and hold so special and close to their heart will turn bad. However, platonic is love between the equals. It can also be termed as brotherly love. It is the kind of love you have for your brother or a really good friend. It exists when people share the same values and dispositions with someone and the feelings are reciprocated. Physical attraction was never a necessary part of this type of love, hence the use of the word platonic means, without physical attraction. Philia is a type of love that is felt among friends who have endured hard times together. As Aristotle put it, philia is a dispassionate virtuous love. It often involves the feelings of loyalty among friends, camaraderie among teammates, and the sense of sacrifice for your pack. So platonic is not about drawing boundaries cause it is about respecting that close friend of yours and just be there for them at times of need unasked for without expecting anything in return. Sometimes at its best, platonic becomes a gape, the selfless love. In the process, a person involved in platonic love may become so possessive of the other that at its height sounds like mania, the obsessive love. We live in a society that labels everything. A girl and a boy being best friends with a 1001 boundaries and limits and rules makes it slightly acceptable. But mostly, you talk about it outside to the world that surrounds, people start judging you. People start to think that the one who is acting possessive is actually in love with the other party and wants to get into a couple type of relationship. They end up advising that what you share is unhealthy and that will only harm hurt you on a long run. Truth is, people don't understand love. The very term for many only portrays the romantic, incessant, lutus, erotic love. It is indeed warm to share that kind of romantic and sensually passionate love. It is also rare and hard to find your other half and share a feeling so mutual. But love such as agape, platonic and pragma are transcending all bounds and this is even rare to find. This is even more important to treasure for this type of love does not just happen. This type of love is free of judgments and expectations and above all magical. So if you ever come across something as special as platonic, don't have a blurry line, introspect and convince yourself with what your heart and head has to say, and stop fearing the society and their labels, because at the end of the day, they are meaningless and never ever magical. Do you think you have this bond with someone? Go and love them with all your heart. Appreciate them. Make them believe that their presence is highly wanted in your life. Make them feel special and secure in your presence. Push them outside their comfort zone and push yourself too. Enjoy life as the time goes by together. What you share may be short-lived or if you both mutually want each other's presence in your life that much, the platonic love that you share might actually become pragma. Pragma, the enduring love, a love that has aged, matured and developed over time. It is beyond the physical, it has transcended the casual, and it is a unique harmony that is formed over time. You can find pragma in a married couples who have lasted together for a long time, or in friendships that have endured for decades. Unfortunately pragma is a type of love that is not easily found. We spend so much time and energy trying to find love and so little time in learning how to maintain it. Unlike the other types of love, pragma is the result of efforts on both sides. It's the love between people who have learned to make compromises, have demonstrated patience and tolerance to make this relationship work. So what is it that I am trying to say? Don't judge love. Don't try to stick to the societal definitions of how love is supposed to be. Everyone seems to have a clear idea of how other people should lead their lives, but none about his or her own. Love is wide, big and beautiful. 
And if you were lucky enough to come across something platonic a gate hold onto it very tightly and never let go. For they are compassionate and just beautiful the way they are with all the flaws and imperfections. It is real. Just be. Thank you.